from haunted forests filled with creatures to creepy asylums with wandering spirits. Our planet is filled with strange places that are currently still haunted. What is good my friends? My name is Nicholas Playlog and I will be your host in today's video where we will be looking at the top 5 haunted places in folklore. Let's get into it. Number 5 is Slaughterhouse Canyon. Slaughterhouse Canyon is home to one of the most tragic stories I have ever heard. In the early 1800s, a family lived remotely in this area. There were four of them, the mother, the father and two children. The father would travel into this canyon and have to leave his family for extended periods of time. These trips were for food, money, clothes, anything to assist his family's survival. One day during his journey, he was lost to the rocks and did not return. Without the assistance from the father, the remainder of the family started to starve. Slowly dying of famine and having no reason Resources, the family, and most specifically the mother, lost her mind. Her madness reached a state that she could no longer come back from, and the incessant bawling of her children for food became too loud in her mind to bear. Dressing herself in her wedding gown, she walked her children to a nearby river and threw them in it to let them drown in the water. Realizing what she had done, her cries filled and echoed throughout the canyon until not long after, she finally perished to starvation herself. It is said that this canyon is still haunted by her undead spirit. That anyone who sets foot on these grounds will hear the shrieks that echoed throughout the canyon centuries earlier. And that extended exposure to this area will cause one to lose their mind exactly how the mother did. Many people report having extreme anxiety when in this area and a deep desire to leave. Perhaps that is the mother spirit attempting to warn people of this canyon so no one suffers the same fate that her family did. Regardless of her intentions though, it's safe to say that Slaughterhouse Canyon is deeply haunted. Number 4 is the Devil's Tramping Grounds. This is in reference to a very strange patch of soil in North Carolina. For decades this circle of dirt has allowed nothing to grow on it whilst the area surrounding it is home to luscious wildlife. Now there could be any number of reasons for why nothing is growing on this patch of dirt. Simply because an area of land cannot grow wildlife does not automatically mean the devil himself has anything to do with it. However, for this particular spot of land, that just might be the case. Locals have reported putting objects in the center of the circle and coming back a day later to find their items placed right outside of it. There have also been several sightings of deep red glowing eyes in the night. It's widely believed that this specific circle is used by the devil to dance at night or in some cases to perform graphic and gruesome rituals. Therefore if anything is inside his circle, he will move it to the outside. A daring reporter decided to test this theory one evening and slept in that exact spot in a tent. He said that the entire evening he heard the distinct sounds of dancing footprints outside his tent but couldn't spot anything when he looked outside. Whether it's the devil or a strange phantom creature performing strange phantom rituals, it's clear that something is not right with this dead patch of dirt. Number 3 on this list is Hoyobachu Forest in Romania. This forest has been regarded by many as potentially the scariest and most dangerous forest on the entire planet. Unlike your typical haunted house that may be haunted by a singular ghost, this forest has a plethora of creatures to watch out for. Ghosts, apparitions, dark shadowy beings and demons have all been sighted in this forest with one person even stating that they've seen a UFO before. The general note that almost everyone leaves with is this strange feeling of being watched and a strong sense of anxiety. This has been taken to the extreme on several occasions though. One story I came across detailed a man who lost his mind and swore that he had a run in with a demon or the devil. Another one describes how campers consistently heard the stomping of horses right outside their tent, but when they went to check outside, nothing was there. There was also a tale of how two people went into the forest and overnight, one of them became fascinated with death. So fascinated that he became incredibly morbid and could only speak about death and how he wanted to watch people die. This forest started out as local Romanian folklore, but over the years has garnered some serious attention. The general consensus though, is to stay away. Number 2 on our list is the haunted waters of Utah Lake. Utah Lake is a massive body of water that spans 150 square miles. Whilst it's undoubtedly home to a deluge of underwater critters, some of them don't come naturally. On the shores of Utah Lake are a collection of rocks aptly named the Massacre Rocks. It's said that hundreds of years ago, the area surrounding Utah Lake was occupied by Native Americans. During that period, there was a great famine that was affecting the people in this 
this group. Therefore, mothers of newborn children, rather than subject their child to a life of harsh starvation where they would likely die anyways, were forced by the community to drown these babies in the water of Utah Lake by the massacre rocks. It was through this tragedy that Utah Lake became haunted. Many locals of the area believe that the souls of these children still rest at the bottom of this lake to this day. It is undecided whether or not these souls have taken a physical and amphibious form or if they are simply ghostly apparitions. One thing is for certain though, do not go in the water. Approaching the lake you will start to hear the cries of young children coming from the water. You must fight the urge to go and help that cry. These children or water babies as they are often referred to will drag you to the depths of the lake and you will never be seen again. Number one on this list is Airedale Asylum located in Australia. The Airedale Insane Asylum was a mental institute that housed some of Australia's most dangerous criminals for over a hundred years. It's said that many deaths occurred in this asylum averaging roughly 100 per year. Now it doesn't house any mental patients today but it is thought that the spirits of these patients are still there. Visitors of the Airedale Insane Asylum often have to leave soon after they've entered due to fainting or feeling unexplained pain or serious nausea. One of the most common things people note is the sound of repeated banging. The sound of somebody smacking their head against the wall rings throughout the asylum with no one being able to find the origin of it. Some people have reported actually being shoved or bitten with no one in sight. There are also several rooms of this asylum with special characteristics to them. Gary Webb was a long time patient of this asylum known to be particularly gruesome. He died a long time ago, however if you were to tread inside his room you would still hear the distinctive shout to get out. The former superintendent's office is a place of particular interest as well, since it will give people passing by the unmistakable taste of bitter acid. Which is only too fitting considering the superintendent committed suicide by drinking acid many years earlier. This asylum has seen some horrible atrocities in it amongst its walls and it's clear that some of them will be locked in there forever. Well there you have it guys, that is our list of the top 5 haunted places in folklore. Comment down below any thoughts that you had on this list and if you ever had any experiences with a haunted location in your personal life. Hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, I'm your host Nicholas Playlog and I'll catch you next time. Number 3 on this list, oh, I wrote down the pronunciation, Hoyo Bachi, Hoyo, um, Hoya Bachu I think, I believe it's that. Hoyo Bachu, I think it is that. Hoyo Bachu. I'm gonna get butchered if I get this wrong. All right, we're going Hoyo Bachu. <laughs> yeah, you think so? Give me, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. We, we, got, we got you on board as well. Hoyo Bachu, got you.